So we are moving on to an Ors of Doom Foretold deck. So idea with this deck is to have as many enchantments as possible. Use Ephemia um, to basically get some value out of all of our enchantments. So we've got a bunch of sagas um, in the birth of Miletus, Timurit Calls the Dead, and Elspeth Conquers Death, which are for good value. Um, we then have things like Treacherous Blessing, Oath of Kaya, where we don't mind sacrificing those to the Doom Foretold. Um, Cavalier of Dawn is good interaction and then allows us to return um, stuff from our graveyard to our hand as well. Um, so quite a lot of stuff going on here. We've got a couple of Kaya's and a couple of uh, Kuneros just to kind of interact with stuff a little bit more. Um, so yeah, let us... Oh, we've dropped a card. I must have cut an Elspeth there by accident. Uh, do you want the Nightmare? Don't think we want the Nightmare. Cool, let us begin. Uh, no sideboard for this, just purely because we are um, only playing best of one, because that's the only thing that's available. So... We will see how this goes. Um, let me update the stream title as well. Um, this one seems pretty good. Turn to Bertha Miletus. Turn three, Kaya or Treacherous Blessing. Elspeth, Elspeth conquers death on five as well. Seems pretty good. This goes and finds a planes, helps us with this Cavalier casting. And we get an 04 and then we gain two life. It seems this card seems very good. Gonna ditch a land here. Like if, if I'd found the planes, I'd have probably kept the planes, but because we didn't, I um, think I'm just gonna do this. Wow, they haven't cast anything. They're on the draw. They're just discarding cards here, so. Let's see what they discard. Okay. I gained two life, that thing goes away, which is fine. Move the wall. Don't really care what they've done so far. Let's just play Doom Foretold and get this treacherous blessing off of, off of off of our side of the battlefield and try and get this thing triggered. We can play Timurit Calls the Dead next turn. You get out of blue. Metamized prophecy. That doesn't seem amazing. Just takes such a long time to do anyway. Back my treacherous blessing. Femia, there we go. Mm -hmm. uh, let's just exile Birth of Miletus. Timurit Calls the Dead, that seems pretty good. This Doom Foretold should go off on oh, no, the Omen of the Sea, sure. So they're probably playing something similar, they're just playing blue as well. So their Omen goes away. Then our Timurit Calls the Dead will go away, and then we can... We've actually got the mana to be able to cast Cavalier Dawn, if that's what they, that's what they have. Um, or we can cast Elspeth Conquer's Death, which would be quite good as well. Ephemia and Kaya also, like we could just two spell, like play Ephemia and Timur Calls the Dead actually, that's maybe a better thing to be doing. It's a bet. Timur Calls the Dead. Let's slow this down. Are you bouncing my zombie? Elspeth Conqueror's death deals with Teferi, which is nice. Back 
That's more like it. the token. Sure. So we get to sacrifice Timur Calls the Dead. Then we get to. I kind of just want to play the Cavalier, but let's play Elspeth Conqueror's Death. Kill that Tefetti. Make them sacrifice the Prophecy. They like shocking themselves, eh? Brought back on the Metamise Prophecy, sure. And Doom foretold of it all. Dancing, bro. We only got like four things to be able to bring back. We can buy it, sure. We're actually not going to run mana because of the Elspeth Conquer's death. That's oh no, we're not keeping the Elspeth Conquer's death. That's rude. Um, right. So we can play Kaya and Timrit calls the dead. Uh, Timrit calls the dead. So we can just exile to the enchantments from their graveyard. Me. Uh, they had no Vikai on play, didn't they? So let's just get rid of the prophecy. I'll be back. I won't forget this. We'll play this. Uh, exile this, make a zombie. So they can dance for they can dance for six, but there are only three things in the graveyard and two of them don't do anything. So we get to draw two cards, but it's not going to do a massive amount here because they lose one of these. It's just two of them. So like they can kill my zombie and or just shoot me for six, but <sighs> usually I'm just better at dodging. Sure. Doom foretold off, but maybe not. Okay, so trust me, I have a plan. We've got what, one, two, three cards to be able to dance back. Here we go. 
Take the seven. Come from the planes, play the planes, play the cavalier. I'm actually just gonna kill my birth of Miletus, I think. No, I'm gonna kill what am I gonna kill? I just want to kill their cavalier, but at the same point that gets him back a doom for told, so. Let me turn this into a 3 3. Make another zombie. I'm known for my excellent time. Don't worry. Thanks, my cavalry. Sure. I think land is probably our best draw. Okay, that was um, probably just debt going slightly bigger, slightly greedier than us, but one one, that's okay. Don't know if I necessarily like the the other blue cards. Like I like the omen, but I don't know if I like, like the other ones. So I feel like just being straight white black is potentially better for just being able to like cast your spells, like not taking damage off your land. Yeah, this sounds fine. Season of growth, sure. Barely getting their scry on, that's for sure. Sure. Throwing lots of cards. A two two. Sure, this is drawing far too many cards for my liking. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yikes. That's large. Just kill this Alcide. I'm gonna need, whenever they attack with this, I'm just gonna have to cavalier it, so. Cost one less, sure. Man, all that glitters is uh what? let's not do that, stop that. Oof. That's one big boy. That's uh that's that that's yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I think I'm gonna block. Woofed. Uh, yeah, give the give the Paradise Druid uh, vigilance. That's that's pretty gross. What one was giving it trample? If that's the Tessin, whatever it's called, give it trample. Weird. Right. Um. O2 to. I'm just gonna call it boggles. Boggles, boggles, whatever way you want to phrase it. Sure, this one seems fine. Nothing till three, but that's okay. Our deck doesn't have that many twos, so. I'd like some more lands before I want some cavaliers. I said I want some more lands before I go on some cavaliers. I played the wrong land because that's not entering untapped. Never punished. It's fine. Kill my token. Sure. Red control of some description. I faced undead. I hope you said, Am I dematerializing? Huh. What's your follow-up from fires? Storm's Wrath. Okay, that's fine. Exile that one. Kill the rag. Sure, they don't want a 3 3. I can't be casting anything this turn, they're just not gonna have mana. It is indestructible, but Doom for Toll doesn't care.
please go away. <coughs> sure. And Saki Dracoseth. Sneak attack something into play, choose not to attack, concede game, sure. I don't even think we were in a bad position from there, even if they had done that correctly, so. Right, we're one in two with this deck. Um, it did reasonably well there, so that was one, two, is it per for us? Come on, move across. It'd be fine if Arena actually let you choose which monitor you want to play on without actually having to set your default. Um, yeah, this sounds great. I think I'll take any extra copies of Athena. This is the same deck as last time, so this hand's probably not as good, but... Stomp me, sure. I've now got extra Athenias, so one of them can go away. I enjoy the proper application of knowledge. really drawn anything particularly useful here so they do have a perforos it might just be good enough fires into perforos let me synthesize the facts It's gonna draw me into it at some point, so. Oh, get away from me! Get away from me! Activate power for us try twice. What do we got? Nothing yet, or not enough yet. Hmm. What is my strategy well? here? Neither Arctic and Perforos. Another Royal Science, but still do have enough. Okay. I okay. appreciate clean victories. I a bit of... Let me synthesize the facts. Okay. We 
was trying to make sure the cavalier didn't die, so that's fine. That's that's what resulted there, so. There we go, we found a doom foretold. Okay, cool. They didn't have it in hand, so that works. Two and two. Let's go again. Oh, what have we got this time? Oh, still crap. than that. This one's much better. Ephemia into Timra into an Elspeth on Elspeth Conquers Death on five. Deal with their things. Probably ditching an Elspeth Conquers Death the Mulligan. Gonna keep the Othakaya. There's interaction. Okay, some kind of red green deck. Othakaya might not be big enough, but hopefully Elspeth Conquers Death will deal with something later on. Female is not doing anything this turn, but hopefully it hits something off Timra, and hopefully we can make two zombies. That would be that would be pretty awesome. Female might just die here, and then we can exile that to the the Timra. No, that didn't. Okay. Stomp the Athena, sure. Let's get rid of the Athena. Sure. Galia, whenever you attack three or more creatures, you may discard a card at random if you do draw two cards. Sure. Get rid of the Timur Conquer's death. Yeah, this skin life scry num scry would be pretty good. We get a wall next turn too. I know the Kai would be able to deal with something. This isn't a massive deal right this second. It's legendary as well, so the the plus power is probably not going to become that relevant. Get that pelt collector out of here. Land on top. I don't need to gain the two lives, so let's just play Doom for Told. We'll sack the Gallia here. I'll take another four. Like a hasty dragon here or something would be quite rude, but Elspeth conquers death plus the Doom Foretold next turn should be enough. We'll deal with stuff. It's just a 4 4 spellbreaker, that's really good for us. We have to take the 4 here, can't block. So I'm then sacking the Birth of Miletus, doesn't really do anything at this point. I'm playing Elspeth conquers death, and we're just going to try and get rid of this questing beast. Can block the spellbreaker. Um, and it's good, it doesn't really matter which one we do. Um, one of them's going to Doom Foretold in the upkeep anyway, so. Nearly stable on 11 life, so. Shocking my. Shocking my. Shocking my token, sure. Okay, so, yeah, we're on 11 life. They've not got anything in play. If they want to play out two Bone Crushers, that's absolutely fine with me. We get to Otakaya 1. 
and the other one lose, goes to Doom Foretold, so. <coughs> Then we get to make another zombie. Go away. 114. Stomp my team, yeah, sure. I like a good fight. Notice I didn't say fit. Okay, they didn't want me gaining any more life, apparently, so... That is us. Three and two, and that was against Gruel Monsters. Uh, I didn't, because my opponent conceded and didn't let me... Didn't let me just keep going. It was so rude. Let's go again. I'm on the plane, I've got birth on two, which means I've got three mana, then I've got traffic. Yeah, this sounds great. <coughs> birth like doing everything, like making like shoot for a land, make a blocker, gain some life, or like die to something else has just been great. Been pretty superb. Thanks everyone for hanging out today. Um if anyone has any deck list they want me to try, um, please let me know. Um, still going to be live for probably the rest of this time for another three hours and then so still plenty of time for various different decks so if you do have a suggestion please let me know we're probably going to be live with this one for another another half an hour or so maybe not as much as that um, and then we will go from there so haven't got any plans for the next deck I think I'm keeping that as well seeing as I'm missing land I've not got the extra land drops tied up already so Planes. Kaya can just deal with this healer's hawk, which is nice. Oh, I like a good fight. Yeah, good for you. Kill their things. Let's just try and keep the board tidy. Remember, you can type exclamation point deck in chat to see the deck list that we're currently playing. Oh. Whoa, that one actually got through. Um, I'm just exiling this to just keep the board clear. I, I had guild business to attend to anyway. Uh, let's play Timber Calls of Death. Get rid of Ephemia. Play a temple. Um, yeah, I'll do that again. I'll quite happily just keep doing this and drawing all the, all the lands. Quite okay with me. A Jani that makes fragments of the food. A pure soul. I'm gonna get an life here. It's gonna be a three-three. So we get this, then we get to mill three. Exile Dean foretold. Play birth. Let's get a planes. And let's. Yeah, let's just go to the other birth. means we've got infinite blockers next turn. Uh, we get to gain two life and scry two as well, which is nice. It's all, all looking okay. Now Jani can make another pride mate, which is kind of annoying, but then we can Elspeth Conquer's death at next turn, or the Linden. Uh, it might just be the Linden, just purely because if they don't have anything else that they can... Uh... Ooh, that's rude. Are these individual Ooh, triggers? Strong. I think they are individual triggers, aren't they? Oof.
Let's let's throw something in the way of this. What's this one's plus? You gain life equal to the number of creatures you control plus the number of planeswalkers you control. Oh, that's kind of weird as well. <clears throat> At least we gain some life here. Oh, another time it falls death, sure. And Kaya seems good. Don't think I need the other land. Exile that Linden before it gets really out of hand. Like, yes, there's a Jani who's going to plus and they're going to gain a little bit more, but it's not not that bad. Like, the Kaya's just going to be able to deal um, deal with these two tokens, so I'm not too concerned about that. We gain four life this turn cycle as well. We thrive when we support one another. They're not attacking with both of these, that's very good for me. Think I'm just blocking one. creatures in the graveyard? We don't at the moment, so do I want to try and play Ephemia? I guess we can start with Timurit Calls the Death, Calls the Dead. Let's see. Oh, we found a Cavalier. That's perfect. So let's exile a Birth. Make another zombie. Play Kaya. Um, I'm going to attack both horns. of these at a Jani. This is child's play. If they want to block both, that's fine. Then I'm just going to kill one of these pride mates. Okay, cool. Uh, four and two versus uh, soul sisters, I guess. These games have either been not very close or not very close, one way or the other, actually. Um, it's either been very, very clear that the opponent's been um, much further ahead, um, or we've just been to a point where they've not really, not really had anything, so... Maybe just a case of fine-tuning, like, obviously this is just one we threw together really quickly, so it might be there are better, better card options that we haven't considered. Um, need to mulligan this one. Um, yeah, this one seems fine. Let's get rid of one of these. Kinross has uh, got a lot of a lot of text on it, so which is kind of a, a hedge to expecting there to be um, quite a lot of um, like cat decks. I want to draw some cards. Yeah, you go spiral away. Doom foretold perfect. Hopefully they just play a wilderness reclamation and they're not playing counter spells. Or oh, Risen Reef. Risen Reef, that's even better. Goodbye. Maybe they're playing the, the mono green ramp or the green blue ramp deck that we are seeing play a little bit last season. No, okay, I think it's just the same, same one we were playing against, uh, I think it was Prep Coin earlier. Oh, they are teamer as well, okay. Opponent, 
Listen, bye. I'll be back. Am I? Let's just let's just not let her go. Huh. If Kindred goes away, You've got Cavalier at dawn, or Elspeth conquers death as interaction next turn. Probably reveals we can exile that one. Quite nice. So I don't need Birth of Miletus. Exile your Cavalier. Let's exile two more cards from your graveyard. Well done. I have five exiled, so that would be what is it, ten damage? No, it's just number of cards, okay, so. So Doom Foretold pops off. We drew another Doom Foretold, which is really good. Crow and War is a nasty card. Uh, they, they maybe got Thassa in there as well, then, for blinking with the, the Crow and War. Omnath, deal one to my... Uh, uh, yeah, sure. Usually I'm better at dodging. I'll be back. I'll be back. Just you wait. So they'll have to sacrifice this. We get our knight back. Uh, Non-creatures cast uh, cost two more this turn. Not that it's going to matter. They've got a lot of mana. Got an Uro. And they don't have five other cards, so they're only going to get to do that Uro there, and then we'll get rid of it with Kaya. And we might get some more goodies out of that as well. Okay, not quite. I don't know if I've got any creatures in the graveyard. I don't. I should have sacked the sack that instead. Oh well, it doesn't really matter. Let's get rid of Uro and a land. I'll be back. I won't forget this. Go. Timurik calls the dead. Hit them for two. They sacrificed that. So they've basically got nothing here. Sweet. Um, so that's another one against Teamer Elementals. So five and two. Teamer Elementals. Okay, that was these games have been quick. Um, so we've still got like ten minutes on the hour. So I think we'll play another one because this deck uh, we're on a five five run streak with this five win streak with this deck. So let's go, let's go again. This deck seemed seemed interesting and sweet. Um, I think it's one that um, Raven Cheer will like, which is good. You can see see what's what with it. Certainly, there's going to be some fine tuning, but I think there's a lot of lot of tools there to um, to make us uh, make make it be competitive. Um, I'm on the play. I think this is a keep a little on the play because I can Treacherous Blessing. I don't think it is on the draw purely because Treacherous Blessing is then going to make us discard two. Discarding one when we're land heavy is fine, um, but yeah, I do need to find something. But we do have, um, we have time. Donald Pope, I'm sure. Don't think I need multiple Elspeth Conquers death here at this exact moment. So, Dryad, sure get to we get to kill that one. Let's just Doom Foretold. Uh, we've done that. Interesting. They want the dawn more than playing extra lands. Maybe they run out of lands in hand. What's this one do? Remove something from combat, so it's kind of like a maze of it. Costs a lot more, obviously, but... What do you do? 
Look at the top four cards of your library. Reveal an enchantment from among them. Put it in your hand. Put the rest in the bottom in a random order. Exile target creature or enchantment until the bleed battle My light okay, vanishes so. you from this world. I would kind of like that back, so... Well, let's conquer death then, shall we? Oh, it's under the Dawn of Hope itself. Okay, that's fine. Stop some drawing cards. Another Calyx. I will not let yes, they the might be the same play here. No, they are digging for, digging for something to do now. What's it going to? Let's go start some four. Seems like a reasonable card. There's a lot of enchantments in this set, so probably pretty good one to do. Trying to heal you all. Appears sure. before me. Uh, we got six mana. I think I'm just Cavalier donning the Dawn of Hope. I'll get with the Calyx as well. I'm gonna sacrifice the Cavalier of Dawn in my upkeep because the Els Elspeth Conquer's death will trigger. Assuming this lives. Like we're so far ahead here. It's, uh, it's not even close. No, I know my di opponent did mulligan. My uh, mulligan did opponent. Um, let's see, I'm going to sacrifice this one. Means I get to pick up this Elspeth Conqueror's Death, put it in my hand. Then I get to do this. Come back with a counter on it. Kill the Dryad. So then the Heliod will go away. Uh, play Ophemia. Play Timric Pulls the Dead. Uh, let's just get rid of the Timric Pulls the Dead. But another one of those. Exile this too. Make a zombie. Go away, Heliod. That's off. Get rid of the treacherous blessing. And get rid of an Ephemia. Uh, we can Oath of Kaya one of these golems and just start um, attacking. Uh, I don't need to attack with those yet, but attack with these. Another zombie. Daxos goes away. Guild of Ruin, that's not doing anything here. Uh, we'll just sack the Oath of Kaya, it's not doing anything. Kaya, we gain four life, scry four. Two top, two bottom. That one goes away. Let's attack you for everything. Yep. No, I should have done it before combat. Nothing I wasn't really, me. wasn't me. really thinking. Shuffling me off my mortal coil. Make another zombie. So just to just to kind of lay out how many cards we're up here, we have what seven permanent, six cards in hand to our opponents. Absolutely deadly squad. They do have three more lands, but even still, 
Um, I think that's probably a good place to end with this deck. Um, after a slow start um, against a bigger Esper, uh, a bigger Doom, Doom Foretold deck and a Boggles deck, um, this turned out really sweet. Um, so we finished six and two with this deck. Um, Ephemia is a superb card. It just like even if you get one um, zombie out of it, like your two mana two one flyer made a made four power worth of stuff. It's very good. Birth of Miletus was excellent. Like just being able to go and um, help us find our mana. A zero four to block stuff. We didn't fight fight any of the like mono red decks or anything, but that would have been useful. The wall wasn't massively relevant against other than against Soul Sisters, um, but this card's been great. Um, we didn't play against any decks where this card was relevant, but it was still good. Um, Kaya was really good against <coughs> the elemental decks, being able to exile all of the escape creatures. Timurit calls the dead superb card. Just gets so much value. Um, Treacherous Blessing is excellent when the downside of um, losing a life then isn't a downside anymore because Doom Foretold just makes it go away. So it's mostly just draw three cards. Elspeth Conquers Death is a huge card to then go and go over the top and actually be able to um, basically kill their stuff, make them not be able to respond particularly efficiently, and then reanimate a creature. So this deck doesn't have too many creatures, but like even just reanimating a Cavalier of Dawn or a Femia. In that last match, being able to... Um, Doom Foretold, Sack the Cavalier, so the Elspeth Conquers deck then brings back the Cavalier, which is a super sweet um, way to um, get as much value as we can out of these kind of cards, which was excellent. Um, Othakai, obviously a very good card from last season as well. Um, so yeah, this deck is really sweet. Um, I think it's something that would be interesting to see how it would perform um, with sideboards and with that kind of stuff. Like Maybe there are other cards I've missed, um, but there are a lot of these that are very good. Um, Kumaros and Kaya might be sideboard cards. Um, you might need um, some. Uh, there's the like minus three, minus three enchantment, uh, black one, whatever it's called. Uh, I was expect. I was expecting more. I, 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 I expected far too much. Apparently, um, let's search for enchantments. I don't know what any of the new cards' names are. So uh, it could be Elspeth's Nightmare if that's uh, that's a thing. Um, if Exile and Graveyards is relevant, it might be that. Um, it could be um, something like Mogus's Favor, if it's a lot of X1s, like being able to do that maybe and just like recur that kind of removal is maybe maybe what we need to be doing. Um, uh, it's not in here. Where is it? There's something like dead weight, but there's a two mana dead weight that gives minus three, minus three in the new set, but I do not see it. I can't remember what it's called. Let me... I'm determined to find this, so I'm going to quickly find it, and then we'll wrap this deck. I'll know it when I see the arc, because we, 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 we passed over picking it last night, unless I've just completely misunderstood the card. Uh, mine, Myra's Grasp. Not in here. Why is it not in here? Still not in here. There we go. Myers Grasp. Um, so maybe this is the kind of card we need um, to um, be able to have earlier interaction. That's still something that's kind of on theme. Um, maybe it's dead weight, just for something even cheaper. Uh, maybe that's the kind of cards that we want. Maybe it's um, oh, what is it? Is it Gideon or is it Elspeth's? Uh, Oh, what's the white card? I need to get better at knowing what the card names are. Two seconds, please hold. Heliod's Punishment. Maybe it's something like Heliod's Punishment, um, where it's something you can sack at some point. Um, like it, is, it is a pacifism um, and loses the abilities, but maybe it's something that you can we could uh, manipulate there, just as other ways to interact with creatures. Um, but that's all to be um, to be decided. Might be something we pick up again in the future. Um, but yeah, that was a sweet one. So let us move on to another one.